is ClassPass worth it? You'll have to stick around to the end of the video to figure that out. But let's jump right into why you clicked on this, the cons. If you are excited to hear me talk some shit, give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna give you the cons from two points of view, from the consumer and from the studio. Let's jump into you, the client. The additional fees, the late cancel and no-show fees, those don't actually bother me. I think that's a pretty fair deal for reserving a time slot and not actually showing up or canceling late. And studios will often have their own policies revolving around late canceling and no-showing to your appointment. What does bother me is the account reactivation fee of $79. Essentially, if you cancel your ClassPass account for any reason, you will have to pay $80 to reactivate it. That is a lot of money. That's actually the only reason why I still have my ClassPass account. Another con for the client, you are ineligible for first time deals if you have already gone to a studio through ClassPass. Essentially, a lot of studios will give you your first class free, your first week free. Other studios will have buy one, get one deals. The list goes on and on. But if you've reserved at a studio through ClassPass before, you actually are then ineligible for that first time deal. If you wanna know a little bit more about all those first time deals, you can actually look to this video right up here where I worked out for an entire month for free in the month of July. Another con for the client, once you hit that late cancel zone, there is very little wiggle room. Essentially, most studios have a 12 hour late cancel policy where if you cancel within 12 hours of class, you either lose your credit or you get charged, whatever it is. ClassPass, same thing. You get a $15 late cancel fee if you cancel within that 12 hour window of class beginning. Now, if you've booked directly through a studio, nine times out of 10, if you call them and you're like, oh, I got stuck on the subway, is there room in the next class? They're just gonna say, yeah, let me move you over. But if you booked your class through ClassPass, there's physically no way for them to guarantee that they can get you into the next class because you didn't book through their system. They would have to go into their system, edit the number of spots they have available in that class because basically what they would be doing is blocking off that spot to give it to you who's saying they're gonna come, who's a ClassPass member, who isn't even like booked through their site. Do you get what I'm saying? Basically. Nine times out of 10, if shit happens, you're stuck on the subway, your cat dies, whatever, and you still wanna work out that day, you're gonna probably get into the next class or a later class on that day if you book directly through the studio. Wow. Another con for the client is that during peak seasons, like, oh my God, try working out on class pass in January, I'll tell you that much. Peak times, like, the morning or right after work. A lot of those classes are either completely blocked off or the credits are so freaking high. And lastly for the client, this honestly isn't the most effective way to work out. If you're looking for a very specific result from your fitness regimen, you wanna to stick to a specific program. Most people who use ClassPass are hopping around trying this, that, and the third, and you're not gonna see the results that you want. Now let's hop into the studio's point of view. Number one, anonymous reviews suck. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest downfall of ClassPass in my opinion. First of all, people grow a lot of balls when they are behind an anonymous keyboard and they tend to exaggerate. They tend to embellish something that may have happened. But if your name is attached to it, you're more likely to be truthful. Now, I'm not saying that things don't happen in classes, but if something does happen in a class and there's an anonymous review, ClassPass has just eliminated any chance for the studio to reach out to you, to absolve the matter, to maybe give you something for free. Personally, I think that the anonymous reviews suck. Another con for the studio, they don't make much money from people who book through ClassPass. One of the studios that I work at actually told me that they make $8 per client who book through ClassPass. What? The average New York City group fitness class costs $34 and you're gonna make $8 off of that person? I understand that $34 is also a lot. I don't really ever pay that much to work out, but I feel like there's like with this weird circle of the rent's really high, so the, the class has to be really high priced, but then people can't afford that, so they join ClassPass, but then because they're not making much money from ClassPass, it drives the class price back up. I don't know, there's like a chart in there somewhere. Yeah. And then a big con for the studio is that clients usually won't see the results that are advertised to them because they're not sticking around enough. Again, most people on ClassPass, 
They wanna hop around from studio to studio. But because of that, clients coming to a specific studio, maybe with a really difficult technique, maybe they're not mastering that technique. So they get frustrated and they leave. Maybe they're not seeing the results that are promised with that technique because they're not coming frequently enough. So they get frustrated and they leave. So this is a big con for studios that I do see a lot of the time. Let's wrap it up. Is class pass worth it? Kind of. Yeah, I know, I suck. All right, hear me out. I do think that there are a few scenarios where class pass is totally worth it. If you're working out for the first time and you have no idea what you like, you just wanna get into fitness, join class pass. Get a medium sized package and start hopping around from studio to studio. If you're looking to supplement your gym routine or your current workout routine just by spicing it up a little bit with different studios, Join ClassPass. If you're looking to use ClassPass as your sole method of working out to see a specific result, you're throwing your money away. You are much better off going directly through a studio. And if you find a studio that you love and really connect with, just buy a membership through them. A lot of times it's actually going to be cheaper than going through ClassPass. Now besides buying a membership to one specific studio, there are also dozens of ways to save on boutique fitness classes throughout New York City and throughout the country. I have a video coming out more about that later, but you can also again check out how I worked out for free for the entire month of July at Boutique Fitness Studios right up here. And if you like this video, give this a big ol' thumbs up, subscribe below, and I will see y'all next week, goodbye.